This episode is made possible in part by ABC Mouse. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Thanksgiving. We've never had this many people before. Look at all these new faces. I don't even know half these people. Nothing at all like past Thanksgivings. Last year, our only guests were Grandma Thora and Grandpa Dave. We didn't even have Pal. And the year before that, Kate hadn't been born. I sort of remember the year Aunt Minnie visited us. That was the year when the turkey fell onto the table. <laughs> we called it table turkey. It was still really good. Thanksgiving has never been like this. I mean, a fireman and a goat, but I'm happy they're all here. Today, they all feel like family. An Arthur Thanksgiving. Pal, let me up. I can't feel my feet. Aww. Let's see, turkey, sweet potatoes, grits and corn pudding, cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts. Smells good. What's for breakfast? Leftover spaghetti from last night. Leftovers? If Thanksgiving dinner is going to come together, I need full use of the kitchen. Wait, where are the cranberries? We have to stay out of Dad's way. You know how he gets when he's cooking on Thanksgiving. Can I have cereal? Sorry, we're not allowed to use any bowls or spoons. I think he's lifted the ban on using the sink, but I don't want to risk it. Hey, no begging. He's not begging. He's just saying hello. He's saying hello to my meatballs. Pal has been getting a little grabby lately. Yesterday, he took DW's sandwich. Her plate was on the floor. And he ate one of Kate's teething biscuits. He shouldn't take food from Kate. He's not taking it. She's giving it to him. Ooh, is that the cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts? Blech. I made a double batch this year. Blech, blech. Ow, no. Down, boy. Dog is out of control. He is not. He just loves bacon. Hello? Minnie, how was the flight? Okay, tell the cab driver it's 562 Main Street. Great. See you soon. Who's Minnie? She's your aunt. She's coming for Thanksgiving. All the way from France. I don't have an Aunt Minnie. Yes, you do. You just forgot. She's my sister. 
You were very little the last time she was here. Are there any other secret relatives you're hiding from me? No. What about Cousin Octopal? Who? He has eight <gasps> tentacles instead of hands. <laughs> He's just teasing you. Arthur, stop teasing DW. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to keep Pal in your room during dinner so he doesn't bother people while they're eating. No! He has to have Thanksgiving with us! I'll run him around and tire him out after the parade. He won't bother anyone. We'll see. I'll get you some spaghetti. Wait! I need these plates. But all the other plates are in the dishwasher. Sorry. Fine. I'll just put the Brussels sprouts in here and use this. <gasps> How just stole Kate's meatball? Arthur, this is exactly what I was talking about. How? Drop it! Here's uh, half of your meatball, Kate. No, sweetie. You can't have that after it was in Pal's mouth. Outside now. <laughs> You're not going to eat off the table anymore, right, pal? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ouch! Hello, old friend. Nemo, I'm not interested in your foolery today. Where did he go? Ugh. Oops, how bumbling of me. I keep dropping these acorns. You're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Good show, almost. Here, boy, let's go. One day, Nemo, I will catch you. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> what time do you have to be at the Thanksgiving parade? It starts at 11, but Mr. Ratburn wants us to meet at 10 to rehearse. Okay, eat up. We leave in five minutes. Am I coming too? No, you'll stay here and watch the parade when it comes down our street. <laughs> Maybe Aunt Minnie would enjoy watching it with you. Is Aunt Minnie the one who sang all those songs that time? No, Aunt Minnie is the one who sent us those coloring books for Christmas. Of the stained glass, remember? No. And the wooden puzzle of the old French cars? Oh, yeah! Wait, and who sang that song about the caterpillar? Did she have a pink hat? Yes. That was someone at the mall selling yogurt. Oh, I liked her. Sorry, pal. No more people food. But you can rinse the sauce off my plate. Pal, sit. Good boy. Totally trained. My cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts! Arthur! What did Pal do now? Arthur, calm down! Pal ate an entire plate of my cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts. What? Lick the plate clean. That dog is a menace. I left him one second ago. It only took one second for him to eat three pounds of organic Brussels sprouts. He didn't mean to. Please take him out. Happy Thanksgiving? Pal just ate all the yucky Brussels sprouts, and my dad is going to send them to the pound. Whoa. I'm not sending him to the pound. Are you having Thanksgiving with us? No, we're going to my Aunt Mabel's, but we're not leaving yet. 
I'm here to stay out of the way while he packed the car. Oh, and to give you this cornbread from my mom. Thank you. Keep it away from Pal. He's eating everything in sight. Blah, bleep, bloop, bad dog, bleep, blah. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bacon, bleep, bloop. I'm your Aunt Minnie. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. I won't force a hug on you. There's nothing worse than hugging a stranger. Except for shaking a hand that's covered with tomato sauce. Sorry. Huh. You've grown taller since I last saw you. And you're no longer wearing diapers, I presume. Yeah, nah. So, shall we take all this fun inside? Okay. Oops, I dropped it. Nemo, I am not in the mood for shenanigans. You are chained up, aren't you? What did you do? Nothing. With no provocation at all, Arthur's dad started yelling at me. And then Arthur was yelling. I'm mystified. I think Arthur is one of those mean boys. He is not. I think he has a cruel streak. Arthur is the kindest boy in the world. He's inside gorging on Thanksgiving dinner while you're out here chained up in the cold. You're wrong. But not only is it unseasonably warm out, but... I'm not chained up anymore. Oh. And then two days in the city, then it's back to Paris. It's so great to see you. Oh, it's been too long. That's the mystery ant who came out of nowhere. Whoa. Arthur, tell Aunt Minnie about the Thanksgiving parade. At my school, we made a float for the parade. Do you know the nursery rhyme, Hickory Dickory Dock? Yes, about Hickory Dick Cromwell, who was the King of England for only one year. That's a different one. The one we're doing is about a mouse who goes up a clock and then he runs down again. Okay. And Arthur was chosen to be the clock. I get to ring the bell. Well, that is an honor. Congratulations. The parade comes down our street, so you can watch it right out front. Uh, I'd like to rest before that. There's nothing worse for jet lag than a marching band. Of course. I have plenty to do in the kitchen. Our dog just ate all the cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts. He did? I put them in a container with a lid. Uh, wait, what container? Well, are you two gonna come out and say hello to me? She knows we're here. You may call me Aunt Minnie. Well, you may call me Miss D.W. And, uh... You may call me, uh, Bud. Hello, niece D.W. And Bud, it's nice to meet you. Go. He was licking the plate clean. No, I put your Brussels sprouts in this container. What? That was my spaghetti plate. Oh, phew. I thought I was going to have to make the whole batch again. Poor pal. I chained him up for nothing. Can I bring him back inside? Yes. Pal, you can come back in. <gasps> pal? <laughs> Woohoo! Almost. Close one. Too slow. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Can't catch me. Oh. A 
moment. And let you bite me? No! Oh, I'm not going to bite you. I want to pet your fur in the wrong direction. Catch me one day. Ha ha ha! Oh, if only the vet hadn't trimmed my nails! Good riddance, you horrible creature. Oh, I better head home for Thanksgiving dinner. Arthur will be wondering where I am. Which way was it? I didn't see him. No sign of him that way, either. What do we do? We'll keep looking. He's probably close by. Dave, will you call Mr. Radburn and tell him we'll be a little late? I'm on it. Arthur? Good luck. Ah, the bustling modern city. So many smells, so little time. Empanada? Huh? Okay! Brain check it is! So this is my room. That's my Mary Lou cow oven. That's my Princess Ladybug puppet. That's my dollhouse. Oh, I see you have all the essentials. You can play with my toys, as long as you don't break them. That's a good rule. How long are you staying here? Oh, just for one night. Then I'm going to Grandma Thora's. I have to sleep on a car. I know. I appreciate the sacrifice you're making for me. Now, you two leave me alone, please. Uh, it was a long flight, and I would like to rest up a little bit before I start breaking some toys. <gasps> was she joking? I think she was joking. I don't know. I can never figure out, grown-ups. All you mice, gather around over here. Madonna's not here, or George. They have Thanksgiving plans with family and won't be joining us. Muffy and Mr. Crosswire are on their way. They'll be towing our float behind a very special vehicle from his car dealership. Where's Arthur? Arthur will be a little late. Now, first, costumes. I'm glad to see all you mice are wearing gray. Yes, this was all I had. Oh, hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Whoa, Amazing! Sorry. That's your mouse costume? Oh, I'm not a mouse. I'm riding in the car that's towing the float. I'm the official Crosswire Motors Thanksgiving Queen. Now I have mouse tails here for everyone. Clip them to your shirts. Get a friend to help. Oh, mine has a knot. <laughs> I can wag my tail. <laughs> mine doesn't work. Oh, I got it. I'm wagging, too. Here's my ride. Whoa. Here it is. My Cherry Bomb Red Drill Master 5. Sweet wow. ride. Cool. Thank you for driving the tow vehicle, Mr. Crosswire. What better way to spend Thanksgiving than behind the wheel of this beautiful old car? Muffikins, hop in. Most of the time, I'll do the one-handed wave. But for special occasions, I do the two-handed wave. Cool! Is that our float? 
Wow! This is it? Listen up, you mice. You will be sitting here on these benches. One at a time, you will run up to the clock where Arthur, who will be inside, will chime the bell. And then down you run back to your seat. That's not a very loud bell. Hmm, you're right. I'll need to find a better one. And then they ran off that way. That's the direction of the parade. We might as well go meet your class. Maybe we'll see Pal over there. I can help look. I don't have any plans. Sure. Thank you. Those people have a guinea pig. Those people cook with curry. Wait a moment. Bacon, diapers, lavender hand soap. Is that my family? No. Oh, that house uses a different laundry detergent. And mustache wax? It is so tricky finding people in this big town. Back, you stay back! Don't try anything. Just keep moving. I won't. I will. Hey, hey. No hard feelings, okay? I'm just keeping my family safe. I won't bother them. You know, it's actually quiet around here, so I'm glad you came by. Keeps me in shape. You hungry? Well. Come on, come on. I'll show you something. Look at all this food. Ah, it's my Thanksgiving meal. My family gives me all the leftovers because they need room in the fridge. Is this a whole turkey? Mm -hmm. That's my special Thanksgiving treat. It's a turkey for vegetarians. There are no bones inside. What will they think up next? Help yourself to anything you want. <laughs> I'm stuck. Arthur doesn't want me to eat people food, but I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> go on, go on. Maybe something small. One or two of these uh, tortellini. Oh, oh, that should help with the hunger pangs. Thank you again. Anytime. <laughs> well, I must be off. Oh dear, I'm leaving pesto footprints everywhere. Oh, well, I'll take care of them for you. Thank you. How's the face painting coming? Have you children turned into mice yet? Squeak, squeak. Very mousy, you two. I did mine without a mirror. You don't say. Is a vampire mouse okay? A little late for Halloween, but maybe we can get away with it. Just no biting. Alan, what's this? I thought I could draw a mouse more accurately on paper than on my face. True, but I don't want you falling off the float. Give yourself some eye holes. There's your class, Arthur. You should go join them. Feel like I should keep looking for Pal. I'll keep looking on Main Street, and Mrs. Pendergrass can ask around in stores. Promise you'll come and tell me if you find him. I promise. Sorry I'm late. Pal is missing, and we've been looking all over for him. My mom and neighbor are looking for him, so... Well, we're glad you're with us. Now that we have our clock, we can run through this. Arthur, this will be your position here, inside the clock. Is she sleeping? <laughs> hey! Her food is on trolley! Wait, we shouldn't go in. I just want to move him. Uh, Aunt Minnie has heavy feet. Just leave it. I can't. How would you like to be crushed by a big foot? Oh, uh, 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 
who's there? Run! Yeah! This car is amazing. Even the tires are clean. Binky, you have to stay on the float for safety reasons, especially when we start moving. All right. Hey, what's this candy? That candy is for tossing to the parade watchers, but everyone may take one piece. Let's practice this. Ready in there, Arthur? I can't see. Am I facing the right way? Yes, and we will cut you some eye holes before the parade starts. Fortunately, Alan has become an expert. All right, Francine, you're the first mouse. Hickory dickory dock. Don't flap your arms, you're not a buzzard. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. That's your cue, Arthur. Arthur, you ready? Sorry, now? Yes. The clock struck one. What was What's that, that? A duck? The clock sounds weird. It does sound weird. I'll have to get something better than a kazoo. And down she runs. That's when you scurry back to your seat, Francine. Hickory dickory dock. That's all there is to it. How? Oh. Mr. Ratburn, I want to do this, but I'm too worried about Pal. I can't have fun with him lost out there. I need to keep looking. Of course, Arthur. You know, Patrick's shop is very close by. I know a way he can help. Come with me. We'll be right back. Take five, everybody. Five? He said we could take five. Yay! Patrick is a wizard on this machine. I'll say. Thank you for helping us. Of course. Now, how would you describe Pal? He's loyal. He's afraid of thunder. He sleeps with his nose in my shoe. He means, does he have any identifying characteristics? Oh, he's fluffy, has golden hair, and he has a spot in his belly that looks like a pumpkin. Good. Now print 50 copies. We'll hang them up all over. I can take some. Me too. If anyone sees Pal, they'll know how to contact you. I don't like the smell of this place. Did you see that cute little puppy? <sighs> that was close. <sighs> At least now I am perfectly safe. <laughs> I'm vlogging to you from the ninth annual Thanksgiving Day Parade from the best seat in the house. A Cherry Bomb Red Drill Master 5 from Crosswire Motors, where car prices will never be inflated. But something that is being inflated is Gobbler, the floating turkey from Garvin's Goat Farm. Gobbler is one of the most beloved stars of this year's Thanksgiving parade. And I'm the other. I'm Muffy Crosswire, and I'll be back soon with more parade excitement. Now I want to get a shot of you and the car from the outside. You're the boss. All right, children, I'm back. The rest of your costumes have arrived. Are those the mouse ears? Yes. Actually, no. Antlers? Oh, dear. Instead of mouse hats, they sent moose hats. This is no good, and there is no time for a replacement. Can I wear it anyway? Me too. Hickory, dickory, dock. The moose ran up the clock? <laughs> Please. Fine, but not when you need to look like mice. Now, there's been a change. One of you will need to be the clock. I'll do it. 
Thank you, Alan. How come Arthur's not going to be the clock? Can I put my poster on your car? Oh, this is my little perrito. I saw him. When? It was a little while ago. Uh, he was going that way. Thanks. <sighs> I hope he's okay. Not as graceful as usual, but I seem to be in one piece. Oh, you're a dog. Oh, I thought someone lost a hubcap. Where am I? This is a dog shelter. A shelter? No, no. I don't want to get stuck in there. Well, as long as you're on that side of the fence, you have nothing to worry about. I'm trying to find my house. Perhaps you know it. It smells of roast turkey, bacon Brussels sprouts, and reheated spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> gee, that sounds pretty nice, but uh, I can't help you. It's been a while since I've sniffed around the neighborhood. Hey, my Thanksgiving treat. Oh, a biscuit. Can I have some? Yeah. Sure, kid. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm. Yum. Lamb jalapeno. Thank you. Mm -mm. Now that hit the spot. Oh, <laughs> hold it. Uh, she's coming out. Hide. Oh. Okay, you're safe. She's gone. I would love another biscuit. What else is on your Thanksgiving menu? Well, um, we had kibble this morning. But that's all you're getting for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is when you get table scraps and plates to lick and your belly bulges out for rubbing. Not around here. But that's not fair. Hmm. You get used to it. I gobbled down your treat. I didn't realize you weren't getting a proper Thanksgiving dinner. Don't worry about it, kid. I do worry about it. I'm going to fix it. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere! <laughs> Where would I go? I'm dropping these pies off at the retirement home, and then I'll be right back. We'll be fine. I'll put these two to work. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks, Minnie. See you guys later. Can we have a snack? I'm sure you can. What you mean to ask is, may we have a snack? Oh, okay. May we have a snack? No. It'll spoil your appetites for Thanksgiving dinner. There are laws against not giving kids snacks. Yeah, especially on Thanksgiving. As soon as Aunt Meanie leaves the room, we should run in and grab the box of crackers. Okay. Meanie? Is it Minnie or Meanie? It's Aunt Minnie, but she's a meanie, so I call her Aunt Meanie. Oh, there she goes. They're not here. Hurry! Got it! She's coming back. Strong and able. Who's that nibbling under my table? All right then. Two crackers each. You will need your strength. When you're finished, you have chores to do. Hey! Hey, wake up! I didn't get very far. Listen, about all your leftover Thanksgiving food. Oh, yeah, yeah, help yourself. You know, I just had a meatloaf sandwich. Oh, it's not for me. I just learned that there are dogs at the shelter who only get kibble and one measly biscuit for Thanksgiving. <gasps> no! Yes. But, but that's not fair. That's just what I said. Will you help me? Oh, oh, I'll get the carriage. 
Should we bring the turkey too? No, oh, yes. That's perfect for Thanksgiving. Put it in the basket. <laughs> oh, I can't see where I'm going. That's okay. Just hop up into the carriage and I'll push it. What? Wait, what, what'd you say? Hop up into the carriage! We're moving! Hey, come back! Come back from where? Where am I going? Hold on, I'm right behind you! Pow, is that you? Where are we going? Quick, lean to the left! Huh? <gasps> I can't get the whole car in the picture. Back up a little. Be careful, Muffin. I need to get up higher. Okay, this works. Daddy, put your brake on. You're rolling backwards. I'm not rolling backwards. You're rolling forwards. The float is leaving. No, it's not safe to climb down while the float is moving. But, but I miss crosswire motors. I have to be in the car. I can't be on Garvin's goat float. Sit tight, Muffigans. I'll be right behind you the whole time. But, but I'm the star of this parade. Muffy gets to go on the goat float? Ah, oh, she's so lucky. Well, then I call the convertible. Hi, Mr. Crosswire. Can I sit here? Sure, Binky. Binky, you should be here with us. Well, I can't jump off now, Mr. Rathburn. We're moving. All right, places, everyone. The parade is starting. I just saw this dog. You did? He was loose on Chestnut Street, by, by the shelter. He said on Chestnut Street, by the shelter. I'll go find Arthur. Chestnut Street by the shelter? I bet that's where he is. Let's go. We have to set the table? Yes. Take these, spread out. Ah, oh, they're so heavy. Each setting needs a plate in the center. No, we don't throw them down. This is not a barbecue. We place them with care. How many places are there? Eight. We also need napkins, cutlery, glassware, candles, and condiments. Ugh, it's gonna take until Christmas to set up for Thanksgiving. Hi, guys, I'm back. Bud, your mom's in the driveway. It's time to go. Okay. You're leaving me with all this work? Sorry, gotta go. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for having me. Anytime, bud. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm not a hugger. Let's keep it civil. Okay. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, Aunt Minnie. Aunt Minnie? Minnie! He meant Minnie, didn't you, bud? Yeah, yeah. I, I, didn't I say Minnie? Time to go, bud. All right, Niece D.W., back to work. This table isn't going to set itself. I don't think anyone is here. I'm sure the people who work here are spending Thanksgiving with their families. We're looking for our dog. Uh, I, I'm a great family dog. I'm easygoing, uh, I'm a good protector. I can catch any tennis ball. <laughs> You're not as fluffy as Pal, but okay. You can be my other dog. Oh, great. I don't actually make the decisions in the family, but I'll try. You like this dog, don't you, Kate? He does seem nice. Mom, we should keep looking. I just want to hang up a flyer first. Oops. Wow, I can see much better without that turkey on my head. Mmm, you're wearing turkey perfume. Well, uh, thank you. There's the shelter. Let's walk down this street. Okay. I 
told you I'd be back. Sausages? Sweet potato? What is this? My friend Petunia and I bought you dinner. Happy Thanksgiving! It's for all of you. How? Where? You got me slobbering. I had so much food this year. When I heard you guys only had kibble, well, I, I just wanted to share it. Oh, thanks. This looks delicious. Here. Sausage for you. Sausage for you. We even have a turkey. Oh, no. That will never fit through the fence. Oh, the sweet potatoes are too big, too. Oh, you could squish them through. We won't mind. No. I have a better idea. Sweet potatoes ready for launch. Okay. Stand back. Nice shot. Good catch. Now what about the turkey? I'm going to pull it into pieces. Oh, I, I can't eat turkey. I'm, I could choke on the bones. Well, this turkey has no bones. No bones? How did it stand up? Actually, I think it's made of tofu. Ready? Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, is there anything better than eating a huge meal in one minute? Eating it in 30 seconds? Hang on. I know that smell. <laughs> Grapes, teething biscuit, lavender soap. That's Kate's monkey rattle. Oh, yeah. That's where the cute baby dropped that thing. What cute baby? She was looking for a lost dog. A baby and a mom and a white-haired lady. A lost dog? That's me. Was there a boy with them? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he had glasses. <gasps> Rubber. The soccer ball. A kale smoothie? It's Arthur. I'd recognize his sneakers anywhere. There's even a spaghetti noodle here from breakfast. Mm, not bad. Which way did they go? Uh, that way. I've got to go. Good luck, kid. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Wow, what a sweet little dog. Oh. For such a little fella, he's got a big heart. Yeah, he does. There they are! Alpha, wait for me! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, wrong family. Hmm? There he is, Arthur, Arthur! Oh no, another monster. Hey, I've been looking for you. Thanksgiving. Crossfire voters, you'll be thankful for our great deals. 
Ed Crosswire himself, behind the wheel of a cherry bomb red Drillmaster 5. And behind him is, uh, um, oh, uh, someone who clearly does not know proper parade waving. More vlog posts coming up soon from this special Thanksgiving Day parade. It's not fair, Mr. Garvin. I'm supposed to be the star of this parade, <laughs> and instead I'm being attacked by a goat. No, Blue Bell's as friendly as a puppy dog. <gasps> hey, stop that! I think your puppy dog missed breakfast. <laughs> oh, I have to find a way to escape this scoundrel. Oh. Bacon? I guess he's a nice fellow after all. Wow, a real fire truck. Look how high up we are. Look at all those buttons. Oh. Fold it once and over twice and flop it. Like that? Good, you're an expert. Are your kids coming? I don't have children. Who do you live with? I live by myself, in France. All alone? Yes. Aren't you lonely? Oh no, never. Well, maybe sometimes. Don't you even have a dog? I used to travel a lot for work. It didn't make sense for me to have a pet. Maybe I'll get one someday. I wouldn't want to live alone. You get used to it. It's near Antarctica. No, but it is across an ocean. I won't be living there much longer. I'm moving back to Elwood City. You are? Yes. Are you gonna live with us? Oh, the last thing you need is for some old stranger to move in with you. You're not a stranger. You're Aunt Minnie. Aunt Minnie? <laughs> yes, my Aunt Minnie. You can live with us if you want to. You are a very sweet girl. Your hands are sticky in a way that concerns me, but you're very sweet. The parade! Come on! <laughs> Ooh. Put your head back on! It's too hot in there. You don't look like a clock anymore. I don't care. My nose was getting smushed. It's more fun to wear the antlers. Yay! It's Gobbler the turkey! Hi, Gobbler! Yay! Hi, Statue of Liberty! Why does she have a goat? That is a good question. Yay! Hi, Kukar! Hi, Binky! That's Arthur's friend, Binky. He's the Thanksgiving vampire! Yay! It's Arthur's float! It's... What is it? Why did that tree honk at the rat? I don't think we should ask why. We should just enjoy the spectacle. Hey, where's Arthur? He's looking for Pal. Still? Pal's been gone all day. Wow, poor Arthur. Are you gonna throw candy? We ate it all. It's supposed to be Thanksgiving, not thanks taking. So when you see Gobbler the turkey coming down the street, you'll know. Oh, no! Blue Bell, don't! Oh, no! <gasps> Farmer Garvin, the balloon! <laughs> Gobbler, he's flying away. They let the turkey loose. I had my doubts about this parade, but they do put on a good show. Woohoo! Fly away, turkey! Fly away! And they say turkeys aren't graceful. Oh, why did we stop? Is the parade over? It's over for that turkey. It's safe to jump off now, right? Let's go help Arthur. Good idea. We'll all go help. Ah! 
Now let's try the streets on the other side of town. Arthur, I need to get Kate home for her nap. But we still have all these flyers. I know, but I don't want you out here alone. But Pal is alone. I know, but... I can help find that little perrito. Here's more tape and a big box of thumbtacks. Arthur! We came to help, too. Wow, thanks, guys. I think we should divide into search teams. Hello? Oh, hi, Muffy. Fancy, look up in the sky. Do you see Gobbler anywhere? Yes, I see it. She sees it. Daddy, head south on Point Road. Got it. Somebody buckle up this goat. <laughs> Hello, Muffy. Yes, I can see it now. It seems to be heading toward the soccer field. Okay, thanks. He said it's heading toward the soccer field. Roger. There it is. How are we going to get it down? We need a big ladder. I'm calling the fire department. He's kind of a cross between a bedroom slipper and a dust mop but with a cute face and a really positive attitude. <laughs> Do you mean like that dog there? <gasps> yes! How? <gasps> Did you find him? He's on the, the fire truck. Here, take my bike. Thank you, yes, I know. Go. The runaway Thanksgiving turkey balloon has been found tangled up in the scoreboard here at the Elwood City soccer field, and the fire department is on the scene. Let's watch as our lost and beloved holiday symbol is returned to its owner. Pal? Huh. Pal! Arthur? very touching, but you're in the shot. Get out of the way! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, thanks. Isn't that sweet? He's giving it a hug. This is Muffy Crosswire wishing you all a happy Muffin, you saved Gobbler. You're a Thanksgiving hero. <laughs> Pal, I'm so thankful I found you. And I'm really thankful to everyone who helped me. Hey, do you know what would be really fun? Is it okay that I asked a few friends over for Thanksgiving? Of course, everyone is welcome. There's always room for an extra plate or two. <laughs> Or ten. I don't think our dining room is big enough. That goat better not be coming inside. We need to set up tables in the backyard. I'll get chairs from the garage. DW, you'll need to fold ten more napkins. Me? Why am I the only one doing work around here? So that's how all these new people came to Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> I'm still not sure why there's a goat here, but I guess I won't need to mow the lawn for a while. Tell them the best part. Oh yeah, there were two kinds of pie. Apple and pumpkin. No, I'm talking about Aunt Minnie. Mom talked Aunt Minnie into adopting some dog she saw at the shelter. She said she was used to living alone. But I knew she wanted some company. Oh, oh, easy now. Oh, oh, okay, maybe just one hug. So 
So when she moves here, she's not only going to have a niece to keep her company, she's also going to have her own dog. And we get to take care of him until she moves back. I guess the best part of Thanksgiving is different for everybody. But the main thing is, we're all here, together. Oh, looks like it's time for dinner. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. To watch more Arthur and play games with all the Elwood City friends, visit pbskids.org. You can find Arthur books and lots of other books, too, at your local library. your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.